You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, CBS soap opera fans. This is Soap Dirt on YouTube, and we want to talk about something happening on Young and the Restless right now. Elena dumped Nate, and now we're wondering, is it time for Audra to make her move to steal him away from Victoria? There is a whole bunch of traction in this love triangle, which is actually a love quadrangle that not everybody knows about yet that's involved in it. So let's dig in and talk about this. If you haven't already, reach down, click that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our Young and the Restless updates, spoilers, casting news, everything you need to know about your favorite CBS soap opera. So this week on Young and the Restless, which is the week of, let me see, what are we in? May 1st through 5th? Yeah, May 1st through 5th. So Elena trekked to Los Angeles to confront Nate Hastings, and he admitted to taking Vicky to bed. So he was pretty much caught red handed. She flings a glass of water in his face and tells them that they are through. So what now? Does Victoria get him by default? Well, it might seem that way, except there's a third woman involved in this situation that Victoria and Elena are not aware of in terms of her interest in Nate. And of course, that is Audra Charles. She has decided for whatever reason that she wants Nate Hastings, that he is some kind of prize that she wants, even though she knows he's a cheater, even though she knows he is lying to his current girlfriend, she still wants him. You know that saying about how you meet them is how you lose them? The saying basically applies to if you are cheating with someone and that's how you met them, then it's very likely that they will cheat on you and that's how you will lose them. So the big question is, why would Audra even want him knowing what a lying cheater that he is? But she doesn't seem to mind lying cheaters because she's been involved with Tucker McCall for quite some time. They were sharing a bed before they both came to Genoa City. Then he sent her there to do some advanced work for him. Then he showed up and she knew full well that he wanted to reconcile with Ashley Abbott, but she kept warming his bed. She warmed his bed five minutes after he had Ashley in it. So she doesn't really have a problem with cheating dirtbag behavior. In fact, we have to wonder if that's exactly the kind of behavior that attracted her to Nate. Maybe she she likes creeps who behave badly, which would explain her personal and professional affiliation with Tucker McCall. So the big thing is Audra kind of knows all of the moving pieces between these three people, and none of them really know that she is paying attention or what she's up to. Right now, Audra has been acting like she's a friend to Elena Dawson. She has been dropping her little tidbits of information so that Elena would realize when Nate is lying to her. This is not the first time she's done it, but Audra is definitely the reason that Elena is in LA throwing water in his face, slinging accusations, and dumping him. Nate lied to Elena and said that he was going on the business trip alone, and then he promised her a special vacation with just the two of them when he got back. But Audra asked her enough leading questions to where she could safely say, oh, you know, he lied to you. So Elena knows that he lied to her and was dangling this vacation out of guilt because he was planning on sleeping with Victoria in LA. While he may not have been thinking, oh, I'm going to go to LA and immediately sleep with Victoria, he knew that once he was alone in LA with Victoria, that Victoria was going to try and get him into bed, which of course she did. So Audra set up this whole scenario And to be fair, Audra could have stopped this. She could have actually prevented Elena's heartbreak. She could have told Nate, I know what you're doing. And if you go, I'm going to tell Elena, but that's not really her job to rein him in. And he is her boss, you know, so that would put her in a tough spot. Or she could have told Elena about things earlier or arranged for Elena to hear it from somebody else so that Nate didn't even get to leave town with Victoria. But Audra didn't do that. Audra wanted everything to blow up in exactly the way that it did. So now Audra has Elena out of the way. And even better, Elena thinks that Audra is her friend. So Elena is going to come back and tell her everything that happened. And now Audra has even more information to act on. So Audra wants Nate 
create for herself. And step one was getting Elena out of the way. She did that. So now what? Audra can pressure Nate about this situation and about how he's making the company look bad by sleeping with the boss. Basically now, Audra needs Victoria away from him. And Victoria no doubt thinks, oh, okay, Elena's walked away, so now he's mine. Already, Nick Newman knows that Victoria has been crossing lines with Nate. He has confronted her. He even confronted Nate. He dropped hints in front of Elena about it. And of course, Elena is going to remember all that looking at it through a different lens now. So an official Young and the Restless spoilers for May Sweeps also say that Victor Newman finds out that Victoria is sleeping with her Newman Media CEO, which is really ironic when she chewed out Nick for being involved with Sally when Sally was working for them. And she raked Adam over the calls for being involved with Sally when they worked together. And then here she goes and she is, what, what does that say? you don't uh you don't sleep where you eat you know <laughs> you don't poop where you eat whatever this saying is she is definitely behaving badly victor finds out and victor corners nate and basically wants to know what his what his intentions are with Victoria. No doubt Victor might assume that Nate is using her for power and promotion when factually his daughter is sexually harassing an employee. That's the legal terminology for what is going on between those two is sexual harassment. We've talked about this a lot. We have a whole video dedicated to it in our Young and the Restless playlist. If you go over there and want to watch it, it's a, it's a pretty fun video with the legal definitions of sexual harassment and how exactly Vicky's behavior aligns to that. But the bottom line is Audra can actually drop hints to Nick and Victor about what's going on. She might be the reason that Victor comes to confront Nate. And Victor may well threaten Nate's job, although that's really dicey since he's being sexually harassed and then threatening his job. That could be a whole lawsuit for Newman. For Newman. And Audra can also lean on Nate on a personal level and let him know that if he continues seeing Victoria, that it is going to publicly humiliate Elena. And he was trying to talk Elena down as she was dumping him, but she wasn't having it. So there's a lot of things that Audra can do to influence from behind the the scenes to try and get Victoria away from Nate. We do have to wonder how long Elena might sit on the information that it was Audra who told him that he was out of town with Victoria. If she does that, then that might mess up Audra's chances to win Nate. So right now, we've got three women and one Nate, and we have to wonder what's next. If you haven't already, reach down, click that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our Young and the Restless updates. Do you think that Audra is going to be the one to walk out of this messy situation with Nate. They're kind of birds of a feather in a way that they don't have any scruples. They'll sleep with their boss. They'll cheat. They'll lie. So Audra might very well be a good match for Nate, but I'm sure Victoria thinks she is too. And Victoria might think, oh, with Elena out of the way, I'm sitting in butter. But Nate may well have to walk away from Victoria too because he wants to try and win Elena back. But if he does, I expect Audra Charles is going to be right there sabotaging him at every step of the way. Do you want to see Nate with Audra? Do you want to see him with Victoria? Do you want to see him with no one because of his bad behavior? Let us know in the comments. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcasts, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more. <laughs>